Good morning, everyone. So today, I'll be teaching you the module number 8 of Mathematics 7, which talks about the estimating the square roots of whole numbers and plotting irrational numbers. So to begin with, we have the following set of objectives, but we will just only discuss the lesson number 1, which is to estimate the square root of whole number to the nearest hundred. So next, lesson number 1, it is entitled as estimates the square root of whole number to the nearest hundreds. From the word estimate, or estimates, we are just going to identify the nearest value of a given number to the nearest hundreds. We are not going to identify the perfect value or the the correct, the, the not the correct, the, the, the real value. We do just identify the estimated one. So we have the given square root of 7. But before that one, these are the steps to follow. We are going to find the perfect squares closest to that given number. That closest closest perfect squares are less than or could be greater than. So make an educated guess to one decimal place and try it. Decide which is closer. So let's begin with the first example. We have square root of 7. So our focus is on square root of 7. What are the numbers uh, before square root of 7? We have square root of 6, square root of 5, and square root of 4, square root of 3, square root of 2, square root of 1. But we end on numbers where in, uh, we end on a perfect square number. So square root of 4 is a perfect square. So we end here. What are the numbers after 7? So we have square root of 8, square root of 9, square root of 10. And we end on a perfect square number that is square root of 9. So our focus now are on these two numbers, square root of 4 and square root of 9. So we have square root of 4, which is equal to 2, and square root of 9, which is equal to 3. Now take note, what is, which one is closer? Square root, uh, which one is closer to 7? Is it 9 or 4? Of course, it is 9. So therefore, our values from 2 to 3 must be closer to 3. And what are the values closer to 3? We have 2.5 as our middle. Next, 2.6. 2.7, 2.8, 2.9 as our last. So these are our values to consider now. We have 2.5 to 2.9. So 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, And get the squares of each of these numbers. If you don't have a calculator and you just know how to solve, you may use this. 2.5 squared is mean is just 2.5 times 2.5. 5 times 5 is 25. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 2 that is 12. 2 times 5 is 10 carry 1. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 that is 5. So we have 5, 2, 6. There are two decimal places at the two decimals. So therefore, we could have also two decimal places. So we have 6.25. So 2.6 times 2.6. Assuming that we were able to solve this one. So we now have 2.6 times 2.6, which is equivalent to 6.76. We have 2.7 times 2.7, which is equal to 7.29. 2.8 times 2.8, which is equal to 7.84. Now, are we going to, con to continue on this? As long as you reach 7, 7 rather, so you may end on that number. So, which now is, our target is the number closer to 7. So, which now is the number closer to 7? These two items. So, we now focus on 2.6 and 2.8. 7. So, the process will repeat 2.6 and 2.7. 2.6 So, what are the numbers between 2.6 and 2.7? We have 2.61, 2.62, 2.63, 2 2.64, 2.65, and so on and so forth. There, there are a lot of numbers on that. So we we end on 2.65. So 2.61 you get the square, the square, 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 
square. So 2.61 times 2.61 is Using the calculator, if you don't have the calculator, you use the manual multiplication. That is 42 point, uh, that is um, 2.61 time, times 2.61 is 6.8121. We have 2.62 times 2.62, we have 6.8644. And our target is to reach 7. Next. 7 is our target to reach 7. So next is 2.63 times 2.63, we have 6.9169. 2.64 times 2.64 is 6.9696. 2.65 times 2.65 is 7.0225. Now we reach 7, so we end here. So our focus now are these two numbers which are closer to 7. 2.64, 2.64, and 2.65. So, our numbers is now is a bit closer to these two numbers. So, we are just going to identify which one is closer to 7. So, we have 2.64 times 2.64, we have 6.9696, and 2.65 times 2.65 is equal to 7.0225. To get which one is closer to 7, our target is 7. To get which one is closer to 7, we are going to subtract 7 into this, or this one into 7, and 7 into this. And which one got, I if, if one of the numbers got, um, uh, the smaller value, the smaller difference is the closer to 7. So 7 minus 6.9696, 7 minus 6.9696. So add zeros, subtract. We have 10, 4, 9 minus 9, 0, 9 minus 3, 3, and 9 minus 6 is 3, 9 minus 9 is 0, then 0. Next. 7.0225, 7.0225 minus 7, so we have 0 0.0225. Which one is has the smaller value? So this one. So 0 0.0225 or 2.625 is our final answer. So therefore, we could now conclude that square root of 7 has the estimated value of 2.65 and that ends our example number letter a for square root of 7 now for example letter b c d and e the process is just the same you are just going to identify the value which are closer to 7 and those values should be a perfect square. Then you decide uh, which one is closer to 7 or to that given. And then the last is you make a final conclusion for the next 100th place of it, that value or that given brother. So this ends our lesson. So I hope you, you were able to be clarified about this lesson. Thank you.